So, hello. The reason that I've been absent is because I've had to move house, which has been a massive pain. Uh, I've had to move into a flat temporarily while I tried to transition from one job to another job. So I uh, had to go for a cheap house, anyway, cheap flat. So I've had to, <laughs> I've had to wind up my, um, my shed, my fruiting shed, in favour of a fruiting fridge. Now, this is not as illegal as it looks, I promise. Um, what we've got here is my 300 watt transformer. This transforms AC to DC because ultrasonic misters run on uh, DC and obviously incoming is AC. So usually you have transformer blocks. Uh, they get really, really hot and they're really um, bulky and you need one for every ultrasonic mister. It's a big pain in the bum. So all I did was get a big transformer I've wired those three in, oh, no, it's really safe looking. <clears throat> I've wired, that's uh, live neutral, <clears throat> excuse me, and earth. And then I connected these bullet connectors, which are the same diameter as the ultrasonic mister heads. Um, and then I ran them into a box, which I put silicon around because these things leak, uh, because it's only cheap. I just made a cheeky little input there Sorry, cheeky little output there and a cheeky little input there for the fan. And I got the misters floating in a little basket with some pipe lagging. Um, but I've only actually got one running at the minute. Obviously, I was running this um, for my shed. And so I had this set up for six misters, the same as a six mister head from something like House of Hydro. However, um, I only need one running at part capacity because as you'll see when I open my grow room, my fruiting chamber, that's what one is doing at part capacity. So that's 96% and that's 96% and then we've got some leggy pins. Ignore the fact that they're leggy pins. It's a massive pain because I didn't plan, take that out of my mouth, I didn't plan on fruiting. Uh, my windowsill um, wasn't cold enough to keep the, um, w wasn't cold enough to keep the uh, the blocks from fruiting, which is a pain. So those are, um, what do you call it? Oysters, I've got kings in there and i got dove oyster in there, both on master's mix. So it'll be interesting to see how they come out. And then I've just got an exhaust here, which is kind of passive uh, in the sense of it just relies on the air incoming, circulating around and then just blowing out. And then there's a very slight amount of mist. What I'm gonna do, you know, this is just, this is just making do with what I've got at the minute. I'm probably going to put a little uh, outlet from here down to here just so I don't get the whole room filled with condensation and you know obviously it's kicking out water vapor it's just going to damp uh, it's just going to make it the whole place damp um, <clears throat> so this is my mushroom apartment setup if you'd like so my fruiting chamber <laughs> my fruiting chamber is here my oh I've also got a little pre-filter on the fan because the fan's too powerful, so it was it was blowing air too uh, rapidly through the, sorry, through the system, which comes in at the top and just it just goes in there. It was blowing air too rapidly, so I was actually just wasting quite a lot of um, humidity. Uh, it was just going in and straight out, whereas now it sort of like spirals downwards and then eventually gets pushed out. Um, the only downside with this, I'm um, sort of having to stick in a little bit of a, a tea towel or some. Uh, paper towels just to wipe up the excess moisture and you know I'd imagine once these start sort of like uh, with the caps forming and uh, spores start potentially being dropped I'll have to give it a good cleaner out every now and then which is a bit more of a pain in the ass than my shed so that's that operation let's go to the incubator it's really cold in England at the minute so um, we'll go to the we'll ignore that for a second I promise it's not the UFOs and what we've got in here is my a torch on that bad boy. Uh, fruiting uh, incubator. So this sits at about 20 degrees ish. Um, this is just an airing cupboard, and we've got some uh, kings, 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 dove. Uh, these were puffballs. Um, I'm not happy. They 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 haven't actually come to anything, uh, which is a shame. But I was just doing it as an experiment. They were puffball spores. Um, what I've got in my main area is my 
lab if you want to call it that and i'm really happy with this lab you know it's got everything i need it's got my flow hood it's got a really bright light which makes such a difference honestly it's just coming from working in my little shed where where it's so dimly lit and such a pain it's so nice and so now i can just sit down on my little stool and i can relax and i can do my agar work i can fill orders because now i've got a lot more time i've got a lot more space of my own I've got a little shop set up, I've got a little eBay um, uh, shop going which is doing really really well, um, hence all the packaging and stuff, I'm selling stuff like <coughs> soy hulls, just you know in, in small quantities that people want them and in big quantities that people want them as well and various types of grain and sawdust and things like injection ports and syringe filters and these are sterile syringe caps, these were these were quite a pain to get sterile, if I'm honest. I had to pressure cook them uh, in, a <laughs> in a vacuum uh, to remove the moisture and then put them in a sterile PP5 uh, container, um, which I had to do all in front of a flow hood, which was a bit of a pain, so I'm going to start to sell those soon. But anyway, enough about that. If you've got any questions about my laboratory, or growing mushrooms in an apartment, please don't hesitate to hit me up. We'll go and have one quick look. I only moved in a couple of months ago, so it's still a bit bare. But obviously, you know, mushrooms take <laughs> mushrooms take priority over furniture. So let's have, a, let's have a quick poke around back in the fruiting chamber. Obviously, I keep letting moisture, uh, humidity out, so it's not going to uh, not going to. Be much left in there however what one thing i will say that i have been uh, sorry one thing i forgot to mention was this transformer is adjustable so it's kind of hard to see get the torch so if i put that in there that's kind of works so you can sort of see there's a lot of sort of mist kicking out. No, not really. Need a better angle. There's a bit. Let's assume there's a lot of mist kicking out. And with a twiddle of my thumb, you can see that there's a little, little piddly puddle there. Sorry, it won't focus you. Um, okay, there's a better angle. And then just with a twiddle of my thumb, I turn it back up to full. And so that's fully adjustable, which is really handy. And it's done on a little screwdriver in, little screwdriver in there. So it's just literally a twisty thing. Uh, I will be writing a guide on how to set all this up and all the bits you'll need. Uh, it will be purely um, at your own risk, at your own peril. I'm just saying what I've done. Um, they're, looking, they're looking all right. Let's turn those the right way so I can actually see them. Uh, I just knocked up this little racking out of some wood and come here, bugger. Let's try and balance that. Um, I knocked up this racking out a bit of wood and this is just metal meshing, stainless, uh, sort of galvanised meshing. So, oh, we've got some kingpins. Nice. Happy about that. Looks like we've got some kingpins coming through there, or at least primordia. Same thing, I suppose. And then we've got a little pin set, which is. Just thinking about coming through there, isn't it? There it is. Let's have a little zoom. There's a failed pin set here because, like I say, I had a bit of a problem uh, with premature pinning. Thanks to, uh, can't really bloody see. Thanks to um, me being ill prepared. And so that's what it is. Um, this is quite a long video for a very simple topic, but I know people like to be uh, informed about how other people's grows work and how you can relate. So one thing I'm just going to do now is just going to plug in all four of these misters so you get an idea. So they're literally just bullet connectors. Yeah. Literally just bullet connectors. Um, I find the end of my ultrasonic mister, I plug it into there. It's just like you're plugging it into a transformer and you can already hear that water is hitting the fan because it's quite quite powerful and now humidity ah you bastard 
humidity is leaking into my apartment. I thought I got shocked, but I just got my hair caught. That's fine. And you can see that it is pouring into the chamber now, and that is only at what's that about half capacity? No, no, that's full capacity. But yeah, I need to get a dehumidifier for my room. Uh, it's on order, but I don't know if I mentioned that. But you can see if I shut this door now, this would fill up within seconds and it would all come out of there. If you've got any questions, like I say, I'll be writing a guide fairly soon on my website. You'll see it at archersmushrooms.co.uk. If you want to buy any of the gear, it's archersmushrooms.co.uk. And if you would like to help my channel, it would be very helpful if you could just give it a like. And if you're interested, subscribe, because that's what matters. One thing I forgot to mention is that it's on a timer as well. So this is just a simple on-off timer. I think I've got it on for six hours over the night, so I can be at home when it's on, and then it just flicks on for sort of half an hour uh, every few hours, and I think that'll do. This thing's, obviously it's quite wet inside, so it holds humidity pretty well. And uh, there's nothing much growing in there, and so I don't have to worry massively about CO2 buildup. Um, or fresh air in general, I think that's quite enough. So, yeah. Bye! Say bye again, Groot!